Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Quest Street War. I'm your host, Mr. Philip Redglad Level. But right now, we got to talk about our journey to Stalingrad, which I don't know if I read that one to you guys or not. I might have. I honestly can't remember. At the time of recording, it's been quite a few days since I've played uh, this episode compared to the last one, so. We finally taken over a port of Sidium. Now we're able to send a ship to or to ask Stalingrad of assistance in a struggle. All preparations, in, all preparations are made. What should we ask from them? Well, actually, let's take a look. So our land doctrine is a level 5. 5 through these. It's not bad. Advanced tank, modern plane, prototype rifles, advisors. Um, how is Stalingrad doing right now? Um, they're doing all right. They're still kind of just hanging out. Advanced tank. We probably won't use tanks too much. Maybe we'll see. Um, yeah. Prototype rifles might not be bad, especially since... Uh, we're doing okay. We're not doing great. We're okay. Modern plane. I can't see what advisors are like, but in the meantime, we're doing our own plane, which I don't know if I read about. Well, in the past, we had no use for planes. The modernizing battlefields taught us that our own wing power is incapable of winning the war. The air war. As such, we must develop our own airplane models to carry the revolution for the Air Force. Aircraft tests. To further our new Air Force reforms, we begin to undergo tests in regards to specialist aircraft, each with their own special military roles. Uh, pilot training. <clears throat> <clears throat> we should train our pilots in the way of modern air warfare, which we've come to learn by watching Stalingrad and Air Force pilots during our visits to the Pony Country, as well as a few ex-Stalinist pilots themselves who have offered to help chain, train our quite green pilots in exchange for various favors. Uh, I can do more mil uh, naval stuff over there, but Broadfield uh, Polygon, GRW underscore Broadfield underscore Tank underscore pro Polygon underscore Desk. Train the Army. Another one here, too. So we'll do these two, we'll do these two, um, and then I'm going to figure out which one we want to do. This is not bad. Magical Warfare is not bad, but we don't really use... I personally don't use a lot of Magical Warfare, especially our industry right now is okay, but it could be better. Ooh, we can't do this, and it requires aircraft tests. We can't do conventional warfare, Magical Warfare, Air Focus, or Technological Warfare. And basically, you can only choose one of these. Air, Land Doctrine, ooh, Magical Technology. I kind of like Conventional Warfare a lot. It's only two, though, uh, but you get a research bonus, two research bonuses for that one. This is actually probably honestly better. You get a smorgasbord. Integrity of efforts. Uh, technological warfare sounds really nice. Let's go with integrity of efforts. Now that we begin a proper reform of military, we must maintain the integrity of our reformation efforts by continuing and improving our reformation with even further forms. We can stop when we're dead after all. Land and air. There's nothing there. Nuclear bombs. Nothing there. Rockets. Nothing there. But some comments. Someone said, uh, this is my favorite nation to play. I played it at least ten times. Someone says, the minimum I need your help. Someone says, play Heidenreich's Bandits. To get this path, you'd go with a reformist in as Longsword, and they refuse to be integrated by Hellquill after winning the Civil War. Yeah, Heidenreich is basically EAW Dolvanga, which sounds like a lot of fun. Um, someone else says, I really like the Griffin Liberation Army, but they're really outdated. Hope they have a uh, rework someday, yeah? Uh, someone else says, someone mentions, and before someone mentions Masonic Broadfeld, and someone asks, can you do, in Tio No, Kim Robo with Prince Fury as success, successor? So right now, we are struggling, but I'll keep trying to do this as best I can off screen. Um, but I'll be honest, I'm struggling with this a bit. So we might have to use cons commands, maybe not, maybe, maybe not. So we'll see what happens, but we'll see in just a little bit. Our brave sailors have returned. Our expedition Stallion has returned with a beautiful I-15 warplane. Not only is it fully functional, but we'll also be able to construct our own very soon. I-15, a middle bird? Nice. Also, we did throw on here, um, Defenders of the Revolution. It costs about 150 political power, but we're doing okay for now, and uh, we could eventually do transitions or transformation to a modern society. And here we're at everyone. We won against the Wing Body Nation and their allies. Ooh, what happened to my voice? And we took up them all over because I didn't really care. But at this point, I mean, we had to use cons commands because Eastern Doctor Pulpix. We had to use um, cons commands just because we wanted to make sure that the Lake City didn't go to war with us, and Aquilia wants to go to war with us. And guess what? The Griffonian Empire is at war with us now too. So I had to use a few cons commands. I've done a couple more focus off screen though, like New Girl of War. Um, facing the larger fleets of our enemies, we must be able to fight a uh, fight a New Girl of War on the seas. The merchant fleets loaded with the ill-gotten gains shall disappear from beneath the waves, leaving no trace. What use shall a bourgeoisie fleet be when it cannot protect its plunder? Carriers. We must focus on building carriers as how shall be floating airfields. Their fighters and bombers are capable of reaching out for miles upon miles into the unknown waters, capable of engaging an enemy unseen to the fleet itself. Uh, we had a new fleet of steel. Under the tyranny of Casal, the ports have fielded primitive wooden ships and have left us vulnerable to piracy. To protect the revolution and our people, we shall create a new battle fleet, showing with the best steel productivity produced by the Prywen mill workers. Modernizing the destroyers. The Broadfell Navy was primarily made out of flight vessels used for patrol and piracy. We must build off existing expertise, producing a new generation of destroyers, using their speed and numbers to protect our coast and disrupt our enemy shipping lanes. From looters the liberators, whether out of desperation driven by the pressure of the nobility or funded by the uh, funded by them to fight petty power struggles, the Griffins 
of the East are well known for forays into piracy. Who should use expertise to our advantage? We have cast away our chains, now we cast away uh, or cast away to liberate our fellows. Or just our fellows. Revolution on the high seas. The battlefield of the open sea is not like that of the rice fields. We have nowhere to hide, no civilians to rally, no protection but the thickness of our hulls and the strength of our guns. If we're to liberate the seas, we must learn uh, its ways where only brute strength can guarantee victory and demand salt uh, The province of Salt marked. Once belonged to us when we were subjugated under the Broadfield Monarchy. However, with the rise of our civil civil war for our liberation, the province was occupied unjustly by Seanolicia. Now they were in position to demand it back, we should do so. The province is rightfully ours, and we should make every stride to reintegrate it into our country. Claims on Salt Mark. Well, salt Mark is the rightful part of our nation. If we use, have to use force to get it back, and so be it. That'll be ours once more. Which is great. Um I did secure the heart. We've captured the home of all Griffins and shall integrate it into the revolution. These Griffins have been oppressed for all of history, they'll be eager to join in our movement. Which auto completed with the pressure of Francistria and Falkor and strike the south. <coughs> so we're going to move the capital, like we said earlier. And so, now that we control the home of Griffins, we should move the capital to the Griffin Stone in order to have it to be a more central location. Total war um, can be cored when average compliance of occupied states reach 40%. That'd be good. I ask you, do you want a revolution? If necessary, do you want a revolution more revolutionary and radical than anything we can ever even yet imagine? Should be very nice. Northern pressure. There are many small states in the north that may be able to have joined us without with enough effort. It's time to expand the revolution and let's say region pressure. GRW underscore central pressure underscore desk. Very cool. The new capital. We recently captured the city of Griffinstone, which is a historical gem of Griffin lands. There are buildings of all eras, a large administrative complex. We got the idea to move the capital of the city. But it can negatively affect our authority, so it might be worth staying in Kivison or City and build a city and building a city of the future there. Well, as as we have enough political power already. Where's the capital right now? Capital would be nice, don't get me wrong. Um, our capital... Let's see, where's our capital? It's not Carthen, not Falukor. Oh, White Flower, it's not bad. Where's Sidia? A port city would be nice. Uh, city right there wouldn't be bad either, but it's pretty close. You know what, Griffinstone might be... You know, let's, let's just do Griffinstone just because we can. Northern pressure. Send the message to House of Erie and House of Irie. A revolution not yet going to stop now. They either submit or we'll take them by force. Well, well, we'll see what happens. We're still stuck here. At this point, I might just use Khan's commands fully. Just, to, just because this is getting boring. I'm really kind of bored at this point. I'm sorry for this campaign. It's just been, it's been one heck of a campaign. Like, it's been not bad. It's just not tremendous. You know, it's not tremendous, but. Uh, we'll see what the, how they submit. I mean, our divisions aren't bad. I actually think it increases these guys to 27 combat width. It's not bad logistics and anti-tank. Um, get more construction speed, more output. It's already 10, 15. We're getting the capital now. Now it's time for our final strike, which we move to, to gain the great capital, Griffinheim. Strike North Comrades, the destiny of victory awaits. And the Griffin Union? Yeah, that'd be kind of nice to do, but... Uh, they decline our demands. Our leaders have sent us a telegram. They decline, they decline our demands surrender. They know what will come next. They both decline our demands, and we're done with our land auction now, which is nice, but I think realistically I'm going to have to use Khan's commands and just kind of end this, because this is just... Prywin is very difficult to play as. The Griffin Union. Oh, look at that description. Okay, so we got the Griffin Union done now. And now, I, we totally fairly took out the Griffonian Empire. Totally fairly took it out. Um, unite the rest. Stabilize. Institute daily propaganda. I guess we might as well. Prywin has been established. Great day, comrades. After long years of fighting the bloody civil wars known in history, the wars have finally captured Griffinheim, the capital of the former Griffonian Empire. While fighting goes on elsewhere, the leaders of the country have declared the establishment of Priwin and announced it's aimed at all Griffin nations under one red banner. Philip Reglad has performed a public speech at the central plots of Griffinheim, claiming this day the greatest day of the Griffin history. We'll further observe the situation. Great day and publish the conquest of rice. And move the capital of Griffinheim? Okay. Does it give, give us Griffinheim as a core or no? Well, compliance is, uh, resistance is going down, which is nice. We are out of manpower, which is not good at all. Um, yeah, not good. Not good at all, if I do say so myself. Oh, uh, what do we do? The beginning of the revolution. Our nation's finally finished the prolonged war against the deadly imperialist exploiters. The people of Griffonia will be free at once, however. It's just a step towards proper social state. Many problems still have been revealed to us. As the war is now over, we can resolve the internal issues in a great nation. Let's do it then, and the conquest of rice. A book written by Comrade Redglod tells us a story about the struggle of the Griffins of Prywin, as well as the new economic formation he was planning to institute in Prywin. Comrade Redglad critiques feudal societies most of the Griffin nations possess. It proclaims the right of every creature for well-being, less working hours, and that the main aim of a social state is technological innovation, which will lead to automation, freeing the population from hard labor. 
The book was appreciated by several left-wing leaders of Griffonia and will likely be published in other states unless it's banned. Great job. Um, that's not bad. Labor centers, decreased poverty, decreased poverty, growth support. The agreeable population would be actually very nice to get, so we might want to just rush that way. Uh, speed up population stress reduction, uh, speed up desolation appearance. What is all that stuff? Supply consumption. Are we losing weekly stability already? Uh, city improvements. River Federation, River Cooperation, Fight Equestria, Cooperation with Equestria, Support Stalingrad. I guess we have to... Well, I do want to go this way, so... And we need more population, so... Grow support? Um, we ain't much there for growing support. Not gonna lie, not not, not very much. Uh, oh! Well, we, we weren't told about this, kind of revolutionary activity, or national divides, or post-war desolation, or... Post-war stress. Well, bad word. Holy crap. Where's Lushland? Um, where's Kaib? Well, we gotta kill these guys off then. Maybe we should have kicked him out immediately, but... Oh, what is this? Poor science base. Okay, we just went from a poor science base for a lot more reduction stuff to develop science base, but... Oh. Alright then. That was easy. Probably not really what the devs intended. Oh, become the successor of the Griffonian Empire. Okay. This one's good to do then. Yeah. With Empire gone, the Griffonian Federation of Social States in the control of Griffonheim, we can declare ourselves to be the successors of the Griffonian Empire. Griffonian Federation of Social States. Very cool. All right then. We supply map mode, but uh, ooh, we have a lot of this support. Okay, so we have enough manpower now. We're still demobilizing, which is not great, but I think we'll be fine. We should be okay. I'll go to work that house down there eventually as well. Um, other than that, I did add a cheat to make sure that Aquila would not go to war with us. So we'll see. Uh, grow support, I guess. We can, because we can, I guess. Um, how much longer do we have to wait to go to war with these guys? Never mind. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to go to war. Thank you very much. Of course, they're, war they're allied to Tarn as well, but still, whatever. We should do okay-ish. We need more manpower after what I'm about to do to this. I'm still playing around with what type of combat would I like. I've been going between 40 and 42-ish lately, so let's throw in one more already. Like, just, just a crap ton of already. Just, just a crap ton. We should get more cores eventually as well. Air Doctrine is very nice. Yeah, after just butting my head on this thing for like two hours, I'm just like, I'm tired of this. I don't. We have to cheat. Sucks, but not really much we can do about it. And we're out of manpower now. God dang it. Well, as long as we can core stuff faster and get more compliance too. So none of this stuff will ever be core. That sucks. Eh, not bad. Free Republic of Taran. 95 days is quite a few days. Then again, our soldiers aren't doing that great because of all this, you know, bad stuff over here. Post-war stress. Holy crap. No wonder losing a lot of guys. 77,000 is pretty bad, honestly. It's alright, though. I'm amazed we can even do anything over here. Well, Miles will use that while we got it. Nice. Not great, but hey, at least it worked. But this mod moves fast, fast enough that I'm not really too worried about it. So you guys will build right here. And you all just train for now. Promises of peace. More stability would be nice. Princessorship? We'll be okay without it. Uh, military youth. Yeah, let's go with that one because we need it. After that one, we'll probably go with military schools. Even more population? We'll see. Plus more stress. Uh, probably fight kind of revolutions. 
And then maybe a Shadow Police? Maybe Nationalization of Corporations and Greffin-wide Nationalization of Agriculture, as well as probably Stabilize. Well, uh, I did take out the House of Erie. I'm like, yeah, they're pretty quick, even though this war itself, too, should be pretty darn quick. I mean, Quest of War is just so well, like... It's just so efficient. You know, I'm not going to complain about this campaign just because I think this is unhistorical. I could be wrong about that. But, uh, yeah, it, it's just the mod is so fast. It's just blazing speed. I love it so much. It, it's just so well made. It's not perfect. And there's some things that can be updated, such as, you know, the focus tree, like I said earlier, for, uh, Prywin, but I'm not going to complain about that, really. I'm really not going to complain about that. So, I guess up next is this nation of the Barony of R Rumer. 55 days. Huh? We're still trying to stabilize right now. we still got all this other stuff to do, and we could probably crush oligarchs, too. Actually, by doing more of these, we, get, we did get Griffin Youth, which is good. State propaganda, counter-revolutionary activity, national divides, of course. Um, Post-war stress should have gone down a little bit more, but, you know, minus 50% recruitable population factor. Oh, that hurts so bad. That hurts so bad. Um, in the meantime, it's 17, of course. And let's get some more output, even though I kind of doubt we need any more, but... Full spectrum stuff, short bombardment, strategic, uh, strategic warfare doctrine. I've never done this one, but hmm, it's okay. What is? What do we need to do this one for? Improved infantry half tracks, segment penalty, motorized, mechanized, uh, compliance, growth speed, interstates occupied by the enemy. No, that's more motorized. Which don't get me wrong, motorized would be nice. Like defense and light infantry, organization, entrenchment speed. This seems more geared towards defense. And I'm all about all the organization and soft attack and hard attack and stuff like that. So tank refinement would be nice, but I'll go with this one. Shoot and screw tactics, not bad. Pingland's gone, we're going to keep stabilizing. Oh, god dang it, that sucks so much. Um, you guys just keep getting ready to go to war. Util utilitarian architecture, nice. Good, good, good. And I'm taking out the Griffon Empire, even though we did cheat, I'll be honest. It, it did help when we did get more advancements in artillery, which is very nice, actually. Oh, that's just we have you guys too. Help put on a lot of resistance for now. There we go. And Kaiv Kaiv's next. Not bad. Let's see what we can do that. Go to war, have fun. And fight the counter revolutionaries, yes please, so we don't lose any weekly stability, which is very bad. And these guys will die very quickly, which would be a great thing. Uh, it'll be kind of okay. So I'll throw them on here. Alright, so with that in mind, we do this go like that. Let them spread out. Literally just let them all spread out. Be like a cancer upon our nation. Your goal, if you choose to accept, is to get to Rumer. Everything else doesn't matter. It literally doesn't even matter. And now, since they're cut off from here, there's only two divisions I can do anything. Do that, yes. Now that these divisions are all cut off, they cannot no longer defend there, which would be good. And now they're going to be stuck. They try to attack us and kill us, but it's not going to work. Goodbye, good sirs. Goodbye. A lot of attrition, probably. And now they're gone. No, no, they're not. Oh, they're not dead. All right, well, you can always force the attack if we really wanted to. In the meantime, how about you all do this? Get out of there. Those spots would be really quite bad. Uh, this is incredibly stupid. I hate how this is set up. It's, it's set up so inefficiently. Nope. Oh, you ding dongs, get over here. Look how fast that autosave is. Like, there's no comparison between this and TNL in terms of efficiency. No comparison. Absolutely zero comparison. Tino lags way too much. And a quest reward. Even though I guess there's probably less of this mod as a process, like. Holy goodness. Now we're completely away from the front lines. They still won't do anything. Are you kidding me? Alright, we're gonna brute force it then. They're out of manpower, anyways. Pony powers, just like us. Organized fuel, some thick refineries. There we go. There we go, finally. That, it's just... I hate taking out this nation. It's so annoying. But our former allies, yes. Uh, Shadow Police is okay. Nationalization. Let's fight the post-war stress. Yeah. 
Are we remobilizing? No. How's the post-war stress? It's not improving at all. Okay. Because I guess we have yeah, this one. Speed of population stress reduction. Speed of desolation disappearance. Okay then. Shoot and scoot tactics. Yes, please. I like to shoot and scoot. Should be able to go to war very soon. Yeah, you can just come over here anyways. Why not? Should be able to do well. We'll go to war within a few weeks anyways, but... Look down, we'll be able to. It'll be uh, really, qu it'll be really fast. Any issues with supply? Yes. That'll be good. And they'll be able to war. Uh, don't worry about training for now. You guys should continue training, stuff like that. Manpower wise, not super worried about it. Fight the post-war stress, and we'll about to go to war in about three days. Ah. Very good. Even though our attack and defense is not very good, but whatever. Actually, you know what? How about we unite the rest next? Might as well try, right? Fifty days, not much time. With 7,000, even with all these n n penalties. Not bad. How much more manpower do they have? I, it does not seem like it's very... No, they're gone. It's all gone. Good. Now we'll try to annex these guys, too. Actually, you know what? We can start doing that now. Uh, request forces are limiting these. Everything's talked about. That's a much easier button to choose. There you go. Much easier and nicer. And we'll have to deal with them that way. Oh, if you don't know about that, please go ahead. That's nice. And you have the rest, of course, and we'll see what happens. The fight post-war stress. The population suffering from laboring for the war machine and fighting in the trenches for years. Very few want to serve in the army now that the war is over. We need to provide opportunities for the population so that they forget the horrors of war. Build shelters. Gradually decrease the population's level of stress. Build slums. Begin housing campaigns. Gradually decrease. The process will be faster. Good start for rebuilding. Well, we got the political power. We might as well do that one. They're fighting the post-war stress. Um, nationalization, yeah, that'd be good to do. I want to crush our oligarchs, so nationalization of the corporations. Um, uh, we're picking pretty much right where we're off, but we just left off from the fade and fade out. I just wish sometimes this would move a little faster, but you know it, whatever. Concordat of Free Nations. Well, I don't know about the Concordat of Free Nations. Uh, I don't know about that, you know. Um, let's go just around here. We'll start building some more facilities and such for re-education camps, but uh, supplies. Oh, disperse the head mountain of Griffonian host. Oh, we get cores, yes. Immediately cores. We lose 0.4 political power every day and we lose 5 civvies, which honestly, if with me, I'm okay with that. We get free cores basically immediately. Oh, yes, yes, please. Yes, daddy. Oh, yes. I'm gonna war immediately, nice. Um, they're still, the, still doing the whole Lendley thing, which is totally fine. Go and do some of that. We could use. Let's see. Got a lot of artillery now, don't we? We should get some casts. We did go over the cast model, so we need to get something more than just level two flashes. Okay, then. Yeah. Um, what else? You guys want to go to war immediately? No? Okay. Well, we'll see what we can do. Uh. Person again. I guess we're not that strong, are we? We'll see what we can do. May not be great, may not be perfect, but we'll see what we can do. If not, well, then we'll just use, uh, not console commands, but console commands, probably. Oh, they invaded us. Well, that's why we got uh, extra soldiers. Oh, they didn't enable invade us. They had a military base right there, which is fine, whatever. Oh, yes, them moving around us, scooting around us. How typical. More fighters and such? Why not? War propaganda? Sure. Our gold, all adults, sir. We can always drop it later. 110,000. I don't understand how. These guys are just able to just kill us immediately with, with just super. Um, with ease.
Yeah, no, I think these guys are cheating a little bit. How? How are they able to do so well against us? I mean, of course, we, we are suffering quite a bit of attrition. Um, our attacks and defense isn't very good, too, but still. One culture, all roads lead Griffin. Free schooling would be nice. Labor standards, increase poverty, 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 unite the rest. Same improvements. How do we still have this debuff? Do we still have it? Post-war stress, less attack and defense. Well, we're going to go with nationwide uh, nationalization of agriculture. Yeah, I don't understand this at all. I, I literally don't understand this. This makes no sense to me. Um, I get I, know I get it that we don't have a lot of supply around here. But at the same time, this is a bunch of BS. Alright, everyone. So, we're currently crushing the oligarchs. We have done one culture. All griffins to read. Standardized language. State school campaigns. Free schooling. And a modernization, which will be very nice. And right now, uh, we'll probably keep going with labor centers. Minimum wage. Uh, city improvements. Modern architect architecture, socialist construction, family care, free health care, and unite the rest. I'll be honest, this is getting really boring, and I'm pretty much done with this campaign, but I might do some funky stuff just to see what happens once we can do all this stuff right here. Well, everyone, here we're at 1021, uh, September 13th, and we're trying to do some river integration, even though we had, didn't go to war with them. Um, I've done modern architecture, we've done socialist construction, we've done family care, as well as free health care. I guess I could have shown you all this stuff and done it anyways, but we did do the River Federation and, like I said, River Integration. But then we'll fight Equestria, but not really. Equestria is the biggest bastion of harmony in existence. Striking them down will send a clear message to the world about our might and the righteousness of our cause and support Stalingrad. Our commerce to the north of Equestria need our aid. He did conflict and then find a solution. Oh, there's only one way this is going to go down? Yeah, that seems like an old tree. Because, yeah, uh, well, the changes have done really, really flipping well. Um, they done really, really well. Um, across this entire continent, and now these guys are fighting, changing the... So anyways, whatever. Uh, we'll try the River Federation. If we do well, great. If not, you know, whatever it is, what it is. And, uh, yeah. That one, that one called it, I guess, a really short campaign, even though I've been playing this for like three or four hours, I'll be honest. Non-stop. Alright, so they immediately start attacking us. Is there anything we can do about that? Honestly, probably not. They have a... They just crapped out a ton of units. Honestly, we'll probably lose. We'll probably lose college commands for us, so... Um, if you can't go in, that'd be great. Air superiority wise, we're doing okay. We're doing alright for air superiority. Can't quite win that much. Doing an okay -ish amount of damage. Uh, losses, quarter million. Oh, sh Nikes. Wow. That's a lot of losses on both sides. But I did make sure that our Air Force is pretty god darn decent, so. Even though we can't really win everywhere we want, I mean, my god, we're inflicting and taking so many casualties, it's not even funny. Holy crap. They're at eight, 900,000, we're at half a million almost. Well, this is not sustainable on either side. Oh boy. Yep, they're definitely below a million. Now they have less than 600. They've had somewhere between 300 to 400, 600 divisions. That's a lot less, which is good to see. We have upgraded our artillery quite a bit, but this is absolutely unsustainable. Half a million versus 1.2 million. Jesus Christ, that's insane. I mean, equipment wise, we're, we've got more than enough now, but. You know, still. Oh, did I forget to do that one? Do we have, uh... No, we don't have it yet. Darn. I was hoping that we would, but we do not. Help out root some entrenchment, please. That would be very, very good. Yeah, just division for division. Also, these divisions are still, uh... Revolutionary 44 combo widths. Which I'd say is pretty decent. Anti-air at all. Well, you can use it if you want. It's not like they have that many divisions anyways, or that, that much aircraft. We've been really working on anti-tanks. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot anti-tank. Can use more aluminum though. Are we running out of planes yet? Well, we got a good amount of planes though. Oh, they they have a good amount of planes too. So we're still doing some significant damage, hopefully. Nuclear strike on the Everfree Force, very nice. Uh, get some more ground support. That'd be very good. Oh, we'll keep pushing up through here. If we could take that, that'd be so nice. But you know, we'll see. Oh, this is a 240-day focus. Holy crap. Which I think is pretty normal for this mod, but still. Almost a million. They're two, they're two million. I mean, it's just bleeding them dry. That's all it is. They're out of pony power now, so any damage you do, they can't recover with. They have 463 divisions. That's absolutely insane. More war support? Why not? Prospect resources, if we can. 
Uh, Philip. There we go. That should help us out. Like, is that much tougher? 1.1 million versus 1.2.38 million. Not bad. Pretty good. Come on. Just let us snip this part. Just a little snippy, snippy, snippy. Got some more land auction. Cool. More air attack, air air superiority. Sure, bombardment, deep recon. Well, I can deep. Nice. And fight Equestria? I'm gonna guess. They're dead already, though. Support Stalingrad? Well, they're dead already, too. Uh, heated conflict. And then final solution? I love the final solution. He who does not support the final solution does not deserve to live. Nice. We're getting close. 1.37 million versus almost roughly 3 million. Oh, come on. Just just a little snip snip here. A little snip snip. Wow. We have enough we're in military factories here. Get some more gun stuff. We have got, we got the resources for it. Tonks in and plenty of steel. Sure, why not? Oh, we're getting so close. We're getting so close. Oh, we snipped it. Oh, but we lost it. Oh, that sucks. But we, we're going to get it back. Active for two more days, which is fine. Modern architecture. Oh, 3.3 .3 million. How to kill 450 some odd divisions by burning up like 600 million, 600,000 of your own manpower, like 2 million of your own manpower, whatever. This has got to cost so much money. There's superiority, but whatever. Could have done that one, but whatever. We're doing a good amount of damage, but it's not that much. Could be better. Oh! Oh, look at all this. Oh, this is disgusting. Oh, my goodness. Look at all those divisions. Just look at that. Someone's going to count that for me, please. That's like at least 60 divisions in there. Oh, it's just dropping. Oh, it's over 4 million casualties. Oh, this is, oh, this is sad. This is sad. No one playing this long, though. Oh, look at that. Oh, 40 divisions just going to die. Holy crap. That's insane. As we're still making more divisions. Holy crap. Oh, God, that's brutal. And the war is definitely not over yet, but... I'd be very surprised if they can recover from that. Oh, is it changing just flying on us? Oh, the Dread League is. Okay. Interesting. Ah, in the meantime, we probably won't do this, because there's probably not a lot of air bases around here. Well, we can't stop attacking. We're going to run a manpower very soon, so all don't serve. Still gonna, doing a good amount of damage, which is very, very nice. Oh, we can do nuclear bombs? Yes, please. Oh, yes. And yes. Well, now we're taking quite a few casualties. And we killed off a lot of enemies, too, but still. They have one manpower. Half the army that they originally started with. Less than half the army they originally started with. We're out of manpower. Pony power, I guess I should really say. And now the AI is cheating because we can't break into any of their divisions. Why? With air, with absolute air superiority, we can't win. Which doesn't make any sense, look of sense to me. So we're not going to stop. It doesn't make any sense to stop. How are, how are we losing? Please explain to me how we are losing. Train sucks. Okay, I can understand maybe that tile. Stop. Hold. Get some supplies. <clears throat> Get some manpower as well. You guys go from here all over there. Get some planning done. Because we'll do another general attack. Five, four, three, two, one. Probably not going to go great, but you know what? A little bit more planning goes a long way on occasion. Mm. 
Yeah, doing better now after we stopped and started the plan. This the southern uh, front's gonna suck. Yeah, I don't understand how they're able to do this without any supplies. Makes no sense to me. Oh, here we just have supply overload and whatnot. Don't want to go to... Oh, look at that. Hey, get them all off. Um, scrape in the barrel, but if we have to, we will. I'm very surprised no one else has gotten more upgrades, too. Spear. Go with a... Uh, suppressive barrage. Overwhelming fire. Oh, there they go. Took quite a while to get rid of them. They don't like. But that's nuclear bombs. And, uh, yeah, we got one. And you know what? These consequences was us one. Is that what it is? Well, obviously, I don't know the annex all. Command. Oh, there it is. So, yeah. Oh, we can still take a drink left, but whatever. At this point, I'm done. I've been playing this for like five hours. On a Sunday afternoon, it was all right. It wasn't bad, but as someone did say earlier in the comments, um, yeah, this is old. This this just feels old. Like this tree, it's not. As, it's definitely not as flushed out as like some of the other trees are, like the Griffonian Empire, the normal Griffonian Empire, um, even Equestria. Like, it feels like it's, this is one, probably maybe one of the more original trees that the game had when the mod first launched. So, from the Socialist Republic of the World, that'd be cool. Worldwide Socialist Republic by cheating, but hey, regardless. Um, I want to see what problem is all about. Good job, Philip Rockcloud. But if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another video. Thanks for watching. And have a great, 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 great rest of your day.